All right, guys, we're out here at this beautiful, beautiful mini ramp that I've been blessed enough to have the opportunity to skate today. Corey actually built this ramp, the Keen Ramps. Beautiful ramp, I'm out here with the one and only Mr. Dan Corrigan. One and only. Let me just say that we were, it was a little bit hustly and bustly right before you started talking. And I, it took me back to like being at church when someone was about to start praying. What do you mean? <laughs> like it was like, cause we were like, we were like talking, we're like, all right, I'm gonna film this intro. So I just feel so blessed to be here at this <laughs> ramp. Like, <laughs> I'd like to thank Corey, the one who built this ramp. It's a beautiful ramp. It's also weird when people are excited about you. <laughs> yeah. It was like the one and only. <laughs> like, it's true so though. Many, like, oh, people like me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> He's a character, man. No, yeah. it's, it's, sick to, it's sick to have you. I just met him through uh, my buddy Zach. Zach was like, oh, I got this friend Sean. And I actually saw who your YouTube was because someone commented that we should collab. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, who is that? And I looked him up and it's all, I saw that you're coming to America. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, definitely not collabing with him. <laughs> and then here we are. So. Power of the people. Yeah, there we but, go. Um, yeah, we've been having a rad mini ramp session. I learned how to blunt fakie finally. A little wow, bit of a, uh, yeah. A little bit of encouragement from these boys. So yeah, we're just going to skate and have fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So the mini ramp is actually in a factory here and the dude that owns this place, David, he has a bunch of really cool cars and bikes and stuff. A um, couple of Harleys, BMW motorcycle. I'll give you guys a quick little look. Check out this diner guys. It's a built up Harley Davidson diner. Bit of custom work done to it. Front fender gone, which is awesome. A lot of the bike has been blacked out. These are custom rooms. If you check out the lip, there's actually no lip. It kind of just rolls straight down. It's really, really cool. It has some highway pegs here. What I thought was really cool about this bike, you can see here, here's the primary case. And then there's a little, I don't know what this is. It's probably Perspex and you can see through onto the inside there. I thought this bike was really sick. There's a Porsche over here and there's a really cool rigid Harley here it's got the Springer front end sports the tank king and queen seat and it's a rigid frame there's no uh, suspension in the back so yeah stiff Springer front end rigid in the rear kind of knock your kidneys about on the road but yeah this is where the mini ramp is crazy if I ever get big enough on YouTube I'm definitely gonna get Corey to come out and build a mini ramp out where I'm living that's like the dream That was it. Yeah, what you just did is more dangerous than landing it. Yeah, you could have done that one. Really disappointed in you. Who's next? I don't know how we got Jim Greco here, but we did. Here we go. Oh, you're getting in on the blunt fakey too. Have you done one before? Damn, about to be thrice. Commit right here. This is a live stream, so. Oh, you got. Oh, come on. I feel like you're just doing that to spite me now. Whoa. Oh, he's still in. That's so hard, switch front five. Oh, that's like my favorite. Billy Marks with the alley-oop grind. 
Right here, Pat, you need a... Oh, you have it. Just commit to one. I said Pat, you need a... Get it, Frank Arata. Whoa, that was crazy. Are you trying to switch front tail? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Wow. That a boy. Oh, Dan Nepshaw still got it. You have to keep your shoulders parallel, like. Um. No, you can open them up a little bit. Oh, okay. You're literally doing it, but just not doing it. Just stick it. Yeah. Yeah, I always think this is going to happen. And then I'm like... <laughs> then you fall three feet to yeah, your death. Yeah. I kind of like push in, kind of wind it up, and then I just think Vicky Manual. Yeah. Manual. Well, he's popping all the way in, so literally where you're landing, where you? it's not like you're going to be landing at the top of the transition where it's fast. You're landing like here, so you're literally oh. landing in basically a bank. Okay. So don't just lean back. Lean this way and you'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be super safe. If all I will catch you. So evidently when you do it like that and yank into fakie, it's called a woolly mammoth. Oh, oh, he's gonna win. Oh, it's definitely a battle. I don't know what you're doing sitting over there on the element flat bar. Ooh, or maybe it'd be easier on a manual pad. <laughs> oh! Did you touch? Do you have? Oh, you do have that one. Yeah. Front side nose grind on transition. I know nothing about. Dude, that commitment. Yeah, he's committed. I'm like, shit. You got it right here. Maybe I gotta bend my knees more or something. I don't know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, you literally don't need to do anything different. You just gotta just not be scared of it. Do it again while it's fresh. Oh, you got. That is how skating works. <laughs> You're still in, Mulligan, rebate. I brain fart. Brain fart. Who's got what?
just to learn blunt figgies. Sure did. I felt really nice. Like, Dude, it looks really nice. Oh, that was sick. That was so you have to get his back. You have to fully yeah. commit. Hold on, let Ben Gilly get another try. I know this isn't 5 0 El Toro, but you got this. Oh, shit. So he tried to 5 0 the Punisher rail, which is a 22 stair rail, but there's video of this. So he tried to 5 0 22 stair rail, and then someone on a mountain board showed up, 5 0 it in front of him, and he got mad and left. And that's the, this is not a story. The footage of this is on YouTube. If there was ever a video that should go viral, it's Ben Gilly versus the Punisher. Look it up, you will die laughing. <laughs> oh, you like over-rotated that. That was sick. Almost first go. Big dog moves. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Yeah, maybe, maybe take a trip to Home Depot. Skateboarding is, do you think it's harder to talk? tall? Because how tall is Tony Hawk? It's not that hard for me, and I'm like huge. So, I always like coming down from all these into stuff, I'm like, my weight kind of goes like, I don't know, I feel like a. You feel like it's harder to be taller? Yeah, for skating for I sure. I feel like it's harder to be smaller, which I don't know anything about. But just because I'm really big. I, I, so I think there's benefits to both because taller people can jump higher a lot easier. Yeah. And I feel like when you fall down a handrail, it's easier for you to like step on the other side of the rail. Yeah. Whereas I'll get bodied. But since I'm probably going to end up weighing less than you, not that I'm short, but if I was, uh, then it's like less weight to hit the ground. I think both of them have benefits. Yeah. Shorter guys usually are good at like tech or stuff. But at the same time, Tiago's shorter than me and he has like the most pop. Also, Tori, very short. Very short and like super, Big super pop. pop. Leo, yeah. kind of short. Yeah. No offense, Leo. Uh, but I feel like all those guys that are short, though, they have very long legs. Yeah. Like their legs, like they're Haley Isaac. They're like no torso and yeah. just like. Just not, their legs go clear up to their chin. Yeah, they. Oh. After, after filming you for a while and then switching over, I'm like, whoa, he's a giant. It's hard to feel like screw friend. you. Yeah. I'm tall. Maybe you're too wide. And That's what it is. Yeah. I yeah. think it's like my hairy chest is protruding and it's just, it's, it's an illusion. That pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Had a mad fun time skating that mini ramp. I keep, th I'm still thinking about that ramp now. There's so many more things I want to learn in transition now. And I feel like that mini ramp is like the perfect size, perfect width. 
not super intimidating, nice and mellow. Definitely keen to skate some more mini ramps, that's not a pun, no pun intended. As usual guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, follow me on Instagram, at enuckism. One last thing before I leave you guys, if any of you guys aren't subbed to Dan's channel yet, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Head on over, subscribe to Dan. He's crushing it right now on YouTube. He uploads like six times a week. That dude definitely makes me feel lazy. Dan and I have been talking a little bit. We've got some cool video ideas to come, guys. So I think you'll be seeing more of Dan on my channel. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to make rad content out here in California. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers for watching.